recent years we have had some pretty serious accidents there. Back in January, 18-year-old Aaron Snyder died after turning from Kentucky 192 onto the Hal Rogers Parkway and into an oncoming tractor trailer. That was the last wreck here. There had been 11, I understand, uh, the coroner here in Laurel County that's been coroner for several years uh, brought to mind at least 11 fatalities there. Those numbers led community members to sign petitions in Clay, Jackson, and Laurel counties for safer roads. Well, we had about 2,200 in a matter of 10 or 15 days. When the transportation cabinet saw those names, a study was in the works within weeks. Jonathan Dobson works for the cabinet. He says the new lights were installed because of traffic flow. It's not necessarily the fatalities. That's the, you know, engineers have often have told me and we've talked about it. It's, 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 they don't mean to be at all cruel in saying that, uh, certainly, but it is often just a case of the numbers. The transportation cabinet will monitor the lights at this intersection and make changes as necessary. Is it safe to put a stop out there? Can oncoming traffic see it? Uh, from both directions. With more traffic coming from a growing business sector in London, officials say the new signals should help make the intersection less treacherous. It's a major quarter, uh, you know, to Pulaski County, uh, to the mountains, Prestonburg, uh, Prairie County, and uh, there's, there's much more traffic than most people would imagine. And more lights could mean safer roads. It might save lives and it might could have been prevented had, had there been a light there. Melissa Dos Santos, ABC 36, your local news source.